Right, welcome back everybody. So we are back with some C4 content today. Uh, we're gonna do something relatively easy. We're gonna do a battery removal and installation, kind of like a step-by-step -step process on how to do that. Uh, mainly because I have to do it because my battery's dead. It's been about two years since I put the battery in it and I've been having to jump it every time I wanted to drive it. So that's not gonna fly for me. So we're gonna address that today. And I figured why not just share the step-by-step -step process for anybody who is just new to the C4 world or anybody who wants to kind of attempt to swap the battery out on their own. Uh, that being said, it does sound like it's an easy job, but on these cars, it's a little tricky if you're not familiar with them. It's not under the hood or in the trunk where you just move a couple things, unbolt the tie down, pull it out. It is on the driver's side behind that little fender piece. So you gotta remove that and slide the battery out, which isn't hard to do at all, but it's one of those things that if you don't know about it, you know, showing this will give you enough information to do it on yourself easily. So we're just gonna get ahead right now and get this thing out. All right, first things first, we have to remove this panel. As you can see, the battery is right there. So there is a 10 millimeter there and then two Torx 25s in here. We're gonna take those out. And then there's another retainer down underneath here, which this panel slides into. But first we'll take these out and pull this off just to access the battery. There's one more retainer down at the bottom here, which I'll show you in a second. I don't know if this is what was there from factory or not. So it had this push style clip in there. So now you can see that, that's where the push clip was. And then there are the retainers for the other bolts in the front. And then underneath there, that's where, I believe there was probably like a bolt that went through or something. Unfortunately, this car just had like these push connectors in here. So, you know, the car being 37 years old and the battery's probably been out like a hundred times. Uh, the, obviously some of the factory stuff's just not there. All right, now with that panel off, first thing you wanna do is disconnect the negative battery. So what normally will be here is an eight millimeter or five sixteenths head bolt holding this terminal in. Because of my air ride system, I have these special like stud battery ends to put my uh, compressor wires on. Um, so I'm gonna take these off now, negative first, then the positive always. And same as when you put it back together, positive, then negative last. Okay, now that the battery's disconnected, if you look back there, there is the battery hold down, and that is a eight millimeter or five sixteenths head bolt on there. And then underneath of it, there is a nut. So you need, and this one is seven sixteenths or 11 millimeter. So I'm using just quarter inch drive ratchet and extension. All right, so that's what this looks like here. And all this does is just hold the lip on the battery down like that. And with that off, just lift it up a little bit and slide it right out. Just give you a quick look inside there, what that looks like the tray. If I just wipe this down a little bit, then we start going back together. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of clean up this area while I'm here. All 
All right, so now I'm just gonna slide the new battery back in on the tray. Make sure it's pushed forward in there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put my battery hold down in. And the nut at the bottom. That's tight. We can go ahead and put the positive battery terminal back on. All right, now we'll put the negative on. I'm gonna hook my compressor wires back up too. All right, so at this point, it's probably a good time to start the car just to make sure it starts and you don't have any issue with your battery, which you shouldn't in theory, but start it now before you put the panel on. If not, you'd have to, if there was a problem, you'd have to take the panel back off. So we're just gonna start it real quick and then we'll button up this panel. All right, so it works. So we're gonna go ahead and just start putting this back on. Kind of curious now to see what really goes at the bottom here and over here from the factory. So if anybody knows they have like an original car that has instead of those push retainers down here, drop it in the comments. Uh, I'm just curious myself. All right, so we'll take our 10 mil back up here, run that in loosely, because we are gonna check like, the fitment too, just to make sure this gap is pretty consistent and stuff like that. I mean, it's pretty easy just to bolt it up where it goes, and it'll fit pretty good. But we'll run them all in and then tighten them. And that's it. All right, so that'll do it for today's video. So if you want to attempt to put a battery in your car, just jump in and do it. It doesn't take, you know, a ton of effort. It's relatively easy as you saw to do. Uh, it's just hidden behind that panel. That's probably the easiest, quickest way to do it. So if you enjoyed the video, press like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.